Coach Anthony here with Behind the Gloves in association with Pro Boxing Supplies. I got none other than the hammer, Hank Lundy in the building. What's, What's going up? on, champ? How you oh, been? Chilling, man. Hard work, man. Y'all already know the model. Y'all already know the game, man. What's up? Oh, what's going on, man? You know, this is a big fight week, man. We got Adrian Broner, somebody who you've been in the ring with. Yes, sparred, sir. Sp sparred many rounds. Yeah. And we also got uh, Mikey Garcia, undefeated champion. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Fighting him. What's your thoughts on that fight? How you see it playing out? Um, See, one thing about it, a lot of people picking Mikey Garcia. But the thing about it, like I said, man, who Mike Garcia for, you know, that has movement, hand speed, defense. Everybody everybody that you see Mikey Garcia in there with, we're right in front of him. Now, Adrian Brown, a bigger guy, and I'm going to keep it real, you know. I think Brown is going to stop him or, or beat him badly. Where you know the ref had to come in and stop the fight. I got Broner winning by knockout, man. Really, really. That I mean, you know what? A lot of people are starting to change their predictions last minute. A lot of people was jumping on the Garcia bandwagon. Now they <laughs> see how hard uh, Adrian Broner is training. Now look, you've been in the ring with Adrian Broner when right. he's at his best. You got him prepared for a couple of big fights. Right. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, a couple world title fights. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how is it sparring with Adrian Broner when he's at his best? Oh man, you know it bring the best out of you. You know what I mean? Me and Adrian, we've been in, what, three, four camps. I helped him get ready for three world titles. Um, actually, you know, me and him, it was iron sharper iron. You know, you got a skillful, you know, Hank Lundy, you got a skillful Adrian Broner. So that was like the best of both worlds. So what way to go into a fight, you know, sparring or having a guy that's up there, you know what I mean, on that A-level, you know what I mean, to get you ready. And I really, I really think Broner, man, he's going to surprise a lot of people. Listen. Everybody was saying, oh, he can't make weight. Oh, he drained himself to make 140. I tell you the truth, Adrian Broner still can make 135 if he really wanted to. If he really wanted to discipline himself, he still can make 135, man. Listen, the guy, I can say, he, he sort of what, like me a little bit. We big up top, but down, down the bottom, like he got, he got small legs, you know what I mean? Listen, when I fight, <laughs> I got chicken legs, man. So, you know, it's just the upper body, but otherwise than that, that's why I'm, I'm able to make 135 still. And I know Adrian Broner at 140. Listen, I, I'm not, listen, y'all shouldn't sleep on a guy, man. Listen, I'm telling you, y'all, I know best, you know what I mean? I got Adrian Broner by knockout or technical stop. Now they're fighting at 140. I know you are, you're campaigning back at 135. Would you be willing to fight the winner of that fight or the loser for that matter at 140 or would you want to stay at 135? Oh, listen, man, y'all know me, man. 140, 135, especially. It's go time. Like, Mikey Garcia wanted me to go to camp. Adrian Broner wanted me to go to camp. You know, it was all love, you know what I mean, with the Broner situation. But, you know what I mean, y'all got to pay me, man. You know what I mean, Hammer and Hank work to be for itself. Mikey Garcia, why would I go to camp with you when I'm ready in the WBC now? I'm number 10, but now after this ratings come out, the new ratings, I'm number 6. You have to see me next, and I'm in your ass, homie. That's what's up. And then we got another fight right behind that. We got... Floyd Mayweather versus <laughs> Conor McGregor, boxing versus an MMA fighter. What's your thoughts on that fight? Um, I understand Conor McGregor, a crafty style, you know, crafty, you know, all around the board. It's going to be good and entertaining, but I got Floyd Mayweather. But one thing about it, you can't sleep on, you know, Conor McGregor because at the end of the day, any man that put on gloves could hurt you. Any punch land correctly could get you knocked out, you know, so... It's like everybody, you know, we leaning towards Floyd, but you can't underestimate Conor McGregor because at the end of the day, these guys fighting, what, four ounce gloves? So Floyd fighting, what, eights, maybe tens? It's a big difference, you know? <laughs> so, big so, difference. So you got a lot of MMA fans who are ignorant to boxing, you know right. what I mean? They don't really know the science of the sport. They just think it's punches being thrown. If Mayweather loses this fight, what do you think happens to boxing? Do we look like a bunch of guys that don't know anything about fighting? Is MMA going to prevail? Or, you know, or, 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 or is it just going to be, you know, just a thing where fighters, you know, one fighter wins and one fighter loses? Well, I put it like this. More money going to come to the sport. MMA right. and boxing. Because right. you might got some boxers that want to go to MMA. And, you know what I mean, the same with the MMA thing coming to boxing. But, you know, it's more money. Yeah, you know I mean, more money come about in both in both areas. You know what I mean, it'd be exciting. You know, I, I put it like this, man. Like I say, you can't underestimate anybody that put on gloves. One punch changed the fight. But I'm leaning towards Mayweather. But 
Uh, I, I like McGregor, especially with that talking that, that shit, man. Remind me of Hank Lundy. Right, but right. one thing about it, they know for sure Hank Lundy back it up. You know what I mean? Let's see if Conor McGregor can back it up. Right, right. And uh, one last, you know, one last fight I want to talk about, Canelo Alvarez, Triple G. Right. How you, how you seeing that one? Oh, man, listen, I'm not going to lie. Since I've been watching, you know, Canelo and all his fights, even with Floyd, even after the Floyd fight, he ain't got better. Right. Head movement, combination, punches, slick, the slickness, you know, defense, man. Um, Triple G, he been stopping these guys, but I'm not really seeing no, no improvement. Right. You know what I mean? Put a guy in front of him, like, you know, um, Canelo. I think Canelo wins by knockout. Ooh, that's, that's, yo, a lot of people starting to say that, you know what I mean? And you could be right. So, yo, Hammer, man, we appreciate you, man. You know, one more time, Coach Anthony with Behind the Gloves, association with Pro Boxing Supplies. Y'all look out for the Hammer. Oh, we coming, baby. You already know. <laughs> Boxing life.